Hi, I'm Danny from Danny's Do-It-Yourself Garage. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'll be flushing the brake system on my 2009 Honda Civic. Brake fluid absorbs moisture, and if it's left in the system, it causes corrosion, and that'll damage your brake parts, especially your expensive ABS unit. Flushing your system just makes sense and it's recommended every two years or 30,000 miles. In today's video, I'll show you what you need to know to successfully flush your brake system. This is a do-it-yourself job. It's easy to do, doesn't take much time, and it's not messy or expensive. In fact, I bought each bottle of this Honda Genuine Brake Fluid for $12 each from Honda. I have a one-man brake bleeder I purchased on Amazon for under $15. Uh, other things you'll need, can of brake clean, plenty of rags. This is just a turkey baster that you would use for a turkey. You're going to use this to get the brake fluid out of the master cylinder. And then a couple of wrenches to open up the bleeders. Something to pull off the wheels and jack up the car. Let's get started. Let's take some rags and put it around the brake master cylinder. This will keep everything clean just in case you spill. And remember, brake fluid will totally damage your paint. So this is what we're going to do to prevent that. Once you get your rags around there, take a little bit of brake clean and just squirt around that cap. That way nothing kind of falls through and gets in your master cylinder. Let's remove our cap. And here's our cap. This one actually looks pretty clean. If it doesn't look clean, you're going to clean it off. And then one thing I didn't tell you, we have this little pick here and this pick's just going to come in here and just pull out that screen. What the screen does is when you pour the brake fluid in there, if there's a big chunk or something, it just kind of filters it. So we're just going to set this aside for now. Now we take our turkey baster and we're just going to suck the fluid out. I've got a jar and I'm going to actually set right here. That way I don't have to go over the fender. So let's go ahead and take our turkey baster. And there's our fluid. I'm going to bring it over to the jar here. There's the first one. You can see how I'm being very clean. Here's my second one. Take it over to the jar, and this is what it's looking like here. Put the jar back down. Put. Then let's go see if I can get any more of this out. There's a good portion here. Come over one last time on this side. And it looks like that's about all I can get out here. So our turkey baster back down. 
And this is what I got out of it. Now we're going to put our filter back in, but let's squirt it off a little bit with brake clean. Let's go from the back side. And once again from the back side. I'm going to let that dry just a minute. And then I'm going to come over here and just clean off the cap a little. the cap dry. In the meantime, I'll open up my brake fluid. I'm going to put the cap back on because brake fluid loves moisture in the air. Now this is all dry. We're going to go ahead and put this back in. And then I'll fill up. Our brake fluid. Remember, use the brake fluid dot three. All right, so that's filled. That looks like it might need a little bit more here. So this took probably about three quarters to fill it. Go ahead and put the cap back on. Now we're going to go jack up the wheels and start our bleeding procedure. So the rule of thumb when you're flushing or bleeding your brakes is you want to start at the wheel that's furthest from the master cylinder, unless your manual says differently. So on this car, it's going to be the right rear. Then we'll go over to the left rear. Then we'll go to the right front and then we'll finish up at the left front. I have our one man brake bleeder, but I've already ran into a little problem. The hose that goes on the bleeder on this car is a little bigger than the hose. I had the same problem on my other Civic, which is drum brakes. And what I did was opened up this by putting a screwdriver in here and heating it up. So that's exactly what I'm going to show you how to do right now. So what we're going to do is we're just going to get this warm. Oh, not that warm. And then we're going to take a screwdriver, shove it in there and kind of open it up. And once it's opened up, then I can come over to my bleeder it fits like a champ. All right, so once that's on there, we're gonna set up our tool. So we just wanna put a little fluid in our bleeder. So, right about this much and just enough for this tube to dunk itself in there. 
All right, and then we're just gonna go this way. There we go. Okay, we're gonna open our bleeder. Then I'm gonna go into the vehicle. All right, now that the bleeder's open, it's actually gravity bleeding right now. Now, once I push the pedal down, it's going to start filling up that bottle. Now it's all the way down and now I'm going to let it up and it's going to take some more master cylinder fluid, some clean stuff. Then I'll go ahead and push it down again. Now I'm going to let it back up. And I'll do it for a third time. It's all the way down and I'm going to let it up and I'm going to check my bottle. Okay. So I just did three. I'm going to go do three more. Okay, we're gonna go down for a fourth time. Then I'll let up. I'm gonna go down for a fifth time. I'm gonna let up. And I'm gonna go down for a sixth time. I'll let back up. And now I'll go check my bottle. All right, so now I'm gonna tighten up my bleeder screw. I'm gonna empty my bottle and then I'm gonna do it one more time. I'm not gonna get rid of all the fluid. I'm gonna leave just a little bit at the bottom. So what that does is this will be dunked into the bottle in case it wants to bring up any more air. So I'm going to go do this six more times. Actually, I'm going to do it five more times. But first I'm going to go check my reservoir to make sure my reservoir is good. Okay, let's remove the cap. Fill the fluid. Reinstall the cap. And let's go do it one more time. All right, so we're going to open the bleed screw once again. I'm going to push the pedal down. All right, it's all the way down to the floor. I'm going to let it up. I'm going to push the pedal down again. I'm going to let it up. That's two. I'm going to push the pedal down again. That's three. Let it up. Push the pedal down again. That's four. And then one more time. That's five, and I'll let it up. I'll go close that bleeder. Yeah. Get that bleeder nice and tight. And if you look right here, there's no air bubbles, which tells me it was a nice, clean bleed. 
Let me go ahead and remove the hose. And look at that, no mess. Remove the bottle. Go ahead and put our black cap back on. And our first wheel is flushed. Let's go to the next side. All right, so we're on the other side, same process. Uh, remove the rubber cap. So that where you're not gonna lose it. Go ahead and put the hose on. And we're gonna just kind of clamp it somewhere nice. Let's get our wrench and put that on there. This actually worked pretty good doing it this way. Go ahead and hook our hose back up. And then loosen it. All right, now it's gonna kinda Gravity bleed, you'll see the fluid slowly push itself out in here, just like it did on the other side. Now we'll go ahead and uh, push the brake pedal down. There's one. Let it up. There's two. Let it up. Here's three. Let it up. There's four. Let it up. Here's number five. Let it up. So on this side, I can see the bottle. Here's number six. Let it up. Number seven. Let it up. And number eight. And I'll stop at number eight. It's clean fluid. Out the hose, I'll come over here. And tighten it up. There we go. Go ahead and put my cap back on. And we're done with this side. So this side was a whole lot easier because I could see it. So. Next up, we're gonna empty out the bottle, all but just a dash at the bottom. And we're gonna go to the right front. All right, so now we're gonna do the right front. Same process. We're gonna remove the rubber cap. We're gonna put our Hose on there. Put that right here. I'll pull off the hose. Slide my wrench in here. Put the hose back on. Open up that bleeder. There we go. If you see, once again, the fluid's starting to come out. So let's go ahead and push the brake pedal down. Here's number one. It's down, I'm gonna let it up. 
Here's number two. It's down. I'm going to let it up. Here's number three. It's down. I'm going to let it back up. Here's number four. It's down. I'm going to let it back up. Here's number five. It's down. I'm going to let it back up. And then I'm going to go check the bottle. The bottle looks like I could do two more. All right, so here's number six. I'll let it up. And then here's number seven. And I'll let it up. All right, I'm going to go ahead and close the bleeder and look how clean that fluid is there. Very clean fluid. Bleeder's all tight. Those air bubbles are because this is loosened up right there. All right. I'm going to go ahead and dump this off. By the way, I just used one can of brake fluid last time I finished it off. So I'm on the second can right now. Let's go ahead and uh, put my cap back on. Let's go to the other side and let's fill our reservoir once again. All right, so the last wheel, the one closest to the master cylinder, we're gonna do now. So same process once again. Pull off the rubber cap. All right. Let's get our hose. Put our hose on. Get our wrench. Get our wrench on. And our bleeder with just a little bit of fluid in there. Clamp it somewhere. There we go. And open the bleeder. There we go. And I already filled the master cylinder again. And the bottle was empty. All right, so we're gonna do the first push. There's one, I'm gonna let it up. Second push, I'm gonna let it up. Third push. I'm going to let it up. Fourth push. I'm going to let it up. And I can see the bottle, so I can see when it'll be full. Pushed again. I think that was number four. I'm going to push it again. That's number five. I'm gonna push it again. That's number six. Nice clean fluid. Push it again. Number seven. And I'm gonna do one more. And that's number eight. Come over here. We're gonna tighten our bleeder screw. Remove our hose. Pull 
pull our bottle off and we're finished with the bottle. Let's go ahead and just empty it. And this here is all the fluid we got out. So this was our brake flush. Let me go ahead and put the cap on. So I'm all done flushing my brake system, except for topping off my fluid, which I'm gonna do now. I ended up using about one and a half of these 12 ounce bottles. So two's probably gonna be plenty. Uh, the one man brake bleeder actually was, worked pretty well. And I'll put a link in the description. Uh, I showed you the little trick of how to heat up that hose. So make sure you do that. And if you have an LX with the drum brakes, um, it's a 5 16 wrench for the rear. But on the EX, it's going to be a 10 millimeter wrench for the rear. So I hope you learned something in this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, consider subscribing, share it with your friends, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.